Hey, Joe and Stephanie, this is uh, 3905 Whisper Hollow. So I'm gonna start from the outside and then I'll work my way inside. Alrighty, so phenomenal neighborhood over here. So you got the gatehouse at uh, Briar Gate. So really, really nice neighborhood. Um, here we have the outside of the house. So, a front yard here. Grass should be coming back soon. And got your side yard here. And got your street view. And then we have the side of the home here. So, there's a gate back there. But uh, if you see right here, you have your um, air conditioning unit. And then you got your backyard. So I'll just walk through the backyard, actually through the backyard. I can walk through there now, but it seems like they got something on the fence there. So I'll walk in from the front door. All right, nice stairs. Got a little bit of a covered porch, but not a lot. All right. So, here is the, when you walk inside the home, you got tall ceilings, so nice tall ceilings. And this is what the front door looks like from when you walk in. So as you walk in with your entrance, we'll, we'll head upstairs first. And we'll just kind of do the house from up to, to down. So, got hardwoods, you got the stairs. So you got hardwood saw surrounding here and um, the hallway area and then the stairs area. So you have your first bedroom. Carpet. Carpet seems to be in okay shape. Doors are newer, so these are the new door handles right here, and it looks like these are probably painted, so they uh, match kind of the times. Um, they got rotted iron uh, spindle, so that's nice for your staircase there. That's a newer look. Got your look down here. So got the tall ceilings. You've got your skylights here. You've got your look down. Let's go in bedroom number two. If you hear the chirping, that's a smoke alarm. That battery needs to be changed out. Got your attic access. And then we have our closet. So, kind of halfway, it looks like someone lives here and looks like the house is vacant. So, I don't know. Uh -huh. But it's got plenty of stuff in here. Got your full bathroom. So, full bath, linoleum flooring. Got your laundry room. So, nice washer and dryer. Got a storage shelf for, you know, your stuff. And then you have your attic access there too. So, linoleum flooring in there. Got your nice window. And then I'm going to assume this is our master here to my right. Uh, got a linen closet here. And yes, we have our master. So master bedroom here. Nice, beautiful window there that brings in a lot of natural light. Then you have your windows here too. So you see nice and lit up in here. So you can eventually put a curtain up there if this house, you know, happens to work out. Nice ceiling fan. You've got his and her sinks. You've got your linoleum flooring. To my left, we have the stool and then the shower tub combination here. And to my right, we have the walk-in closet. Yes, we do. So we got the walk-in closet.
Okay, not too bad of a size. Could be a little bigger for a master bedroom, but still a decent size. So, so here, that's a swamp cooler. So what these, these were things of like the 70s and 80s. And what they would do is they would exchange the warm air for cool air. And that's how you would cool your house down before central air. But they actually have a central air unit. So you can almost get that sealed up. Uh, I don't know if that, because the unit would be upstairs. I'm not sorry, upstairs. It would be on the roof. And that unit might not even be on the roof anymore. So that might not even work. So that's what that is, okay? So we walk down here, again, we got your living area here with the tall ceilings. Hardwood surrounds this whole area. Got your formal dining room here. So really, really nice, you got a nice bay window there. Let's uh, get you both sides. Yeah, someone definitely lives here. You see the Mr. Pear right here, so someone's definitely still living here. So, okay. And then we'll do it from this other side to get you both sides. Okay. So that's this nice big space here. As you walk into the kitchen, we have a nice huge island here. We've got your cabinetry. Okay. Nice stainless steel dishwasher. So the cabinetry is a little different as you see. Looks like the island was added, so the island might have already had the cabinets there. Okay, then your appliances. Got your fridge. So, nice kitchen. A little smaller than you'd like, but Nice kitchen, nonetheless. Okay. Then you got your family area here. Again, we, we took a look down from the stairs there. You got your skylights there. So nice, beautiful uh, skylights. Okay, there. There we go. Got your skylights. And we have our, uh, let's see here. We've got a pantry. So this would be where their pantry is. Kind of right off the kitchen. That's your bathroom. So in some houses, this is where the laundry room and the bathroom is, but this is kind of the true uh, half bath here. Got another, so probably a coat closet. It is, I guess, right? And you have your garage here. So, got your garage here. Uh, there we go. So they got the car out here. Or in here, I should say. So. Fit two cars in. You see they're using this for storage, so you can definitely get two cars in there. Let's head downstairs, and then we will have the backyard, and then we will be done. Okay, so downstairs. We have our kind of storage closet there. So nice living area. You can have this, you know, you can have that for a multitude of things. Let's see what's in this door here. This door, we just got a storage area. So, ooh, nice big storage area too. So you see it's got a light in here and everything. So that's nice. Looks like they got the carpet pulled up for some reason in there. Like I said, we'll go out back in a second here. Carpet looks a little older down here. So, you know, this could use a kind of a carpet lift. Maybe a paint job down the road too, just because of the kind of dull white color. Got your bathroom down here. So, looks like, uh, you know, they spent the money upstairs. Down here just looks still original. Uh, you have your uh, other bedroom down here. So I've got your base room bedroom down here. Nice closet. Nice, I like the fact that they got everything open too. So uh, nice, got open closet. Got your window. And then, so nice bedroom, bathroom. 
you can almost have this kind of as a junior master if you really wanted to. So if you have company and stuff over, they can have their own bedroom and bathroom, which is nice. Has some storage. And then of course you got your mechanical room here. So furnace, water heater. So water heater looks like December, 2013. That's gonna be needed to replace soon. And then furnace looks pretty new. Furnace looks like that was in 2015. So furnace is good. Water heater will need to be replaced in about a year or two. Water heater is about eight to 10 years. So this is already, you know, year nine. So that's probably gonna have to be replaced soon anyway. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that light out in here just in case someone left it on by mistake. So where are we at? There we go. So that way they can have the lights out here. We have our backyard. So this is from the walkout area here. We'll just go ahead and do the entire backyard here. That way uh, I don't have to walk outside the uh, front entrance there we can just do it right here so got the backyard which is nice nice size backyard so got the other fenced in part over there so fenced in all here you got neighbors here there and then there uh -huh. so and then you have your back of the home here Okay, and then we'll walk up okay so this is the entrance right out to the kitchen So you see a mountain view there too. See the peak right there? So you got that there. So that's the property. Uh, let me know what you think and I will be in touch.